they the Windows lifted the lid on its newest operating system, Windows 10, as well as showcasing a number of new features for Windows Phone, Surface, Tablets and Xbox. One of the biggest reveals now was that Windows 10 will be free for all Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. So Windows is going to be completely free for um, any users that had 7, 8 and 8.1, at least for the first year. Customers for the first year in a bid for push the customers for the first year in a bid to push for developers and get people from Windows 7 who were not so keen on Windows 8 like myself. I wasn't keen on Windows 8. Uh, losing the start bar was an absolute disgrace and I'm glad that they put it back into Windows 10 so it's great for me. This will also this will also be coming out to all phones that have Windows 8 on them and uh, like myself I have uh, what is this phone called? What is it called? What's it called? This will be the Nokia Lumia 920 and it will also be getting Windows 10 which is absolutely fantastic. Um, the tablets, PCs and even Xbox will run the same code for Windows 10 meaning that it will have an absolute massive audience and what that what I think the strategy of Windows will be for this is to leapfrog Android and iOS with having everybody on that. Cortana also was revealed today and uh, um, the conference also showed, or the Windows 10 event also shown Cortana um, on the Windows phone and it was also shown in mo much more detail being released on the PC. So that's very interesting. The great thing about um, the the, uh, Windows, the Windows phone, the new build of Windows for the Windows phone will be available for developers in February. So I'm looking forward to getting that on the phone. I've already got the developers version for Windows 8.1 on the phone. So I'm looking very forward to putting the Windows 10 on the phone too. Um, one of my favourite reveals, uh, this will make everybody I think across the board excited, especially for me, I'm a PC gamer. I had a Sony PlayStation 4, I got rid of it because I just thought myself, I bought myself a new graphics card and I've just been playing PC games. But this is fantastic that uh, Windows, Windows PC gamers will now be able to uh, play Xbox Live gamers and it will be an absolute massacre for the, uh, it'll be an absolute massacre for the, the PC gamers will absolutely massacre the Xbox One gamers if we're not helping our Xbox One gamers which primarily probably consists of between the ages of 5 and 16 and uh, the PC gamers are a lot more mature so, so you're talking between you know the ages of maybe 20 to 30, uh, 30 and plus so it'll be interesting to see how these two groups interact and get on but um with uh, it also we also got a reveal for DirectX 12, which uh, was it showed very very smooth FPS frames, um, yeah frames per second yeah it showed very smooth FPS frames compared to the DirectX 11 or previous so that was uh, cool to see okay so next week a consumer preview is uh, due next week so uh, stay tuned I'm gonna have the consumer preview on my channel. So um, as soon as it's released, I'll be putting it up. So I uh, look forward to that. And if you, if you haven't already, um, subscribe, like my channel, and come on board, and let's get gaming together. Overnight.